Hey guys, how you doing? Uncle Steph here. So what is the most valuable skill set that a developer can have today? I would have to say it is logical thinking. It is not a particular language. It is not a particular framework. It's ability to think logically. Why do I say that? Well, if you have experienced if you have experience in development, if you've done a lot of software development, as I have for 30 years now, 30 years, uh, what you learn over time is that the complexity of software is not in the languages. What differentiates the great developers from the not so good developers is not their mastery of a particular language or framework. Really, it comes down to being able to logically structure out how you're going to execute the software that you're building. Whether you build the software in Java, C Sharp, JavaScript, or AI, or just even a custom WordPress install. The great developers are, are able to make it work. It's something I've been saying for years. If, for example, I wanted to build a React with Node.js on the back end job, and uh, so that's all JavaScript, of course. So I have a, had a decision to choose if I was hiring somebody, if I had to choose somebody who had one year experience with JavaScript, but no other coding experience versus somebody with five years experience in Python, Python web, I'd probably go for the Python web person. Why? Because the five years a software development experience is worth a heck of a lot. It's worth a heck of a lot. So how is this useful to you guys out there who are noobs? It comes down to what I've been saying for many, many years now. When you want to get good, you learn your fundamentals first. To learn your fundamentals, WebStack is my recommendation for a bunch of reasons. But most importantly is you got to go out there and build projects. You don't want to make the mistake of becoming caught in a tutorial hell, becoming a perma student where you're just, just always trying to learn something new through academic study. No, 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 no. Software development is a very practical field to be in where it's pretty clear cl quickly whether you are competent or not. In many other professions, in, not professions, well, I guess you can call them professions if there are jobs, in many other fields of study, history, philosophy, economics, uh, there's, there's no easy way to assess whether somebody is competent. They write papers, blah, 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 but there's no, nothing real tangible there. With software development, there's something very tangible. Your software works, you get it done on time, it's easy to update, the code is clean, it's logical, makes sense. So recently I developed a custom AI on top of GPT, and I spent about three and a half, four months refining it uh, daily. It was like eight hours a day, it was like an hour a day, two hours a day, half an hour here, that kind of thing. Over time, the AI got better and better and better and better. The problem with large language models is that they are so huge is that they can go off on these crazy tang tangents if you try to get to do things. So when you start prompting it properly and start giving it structure, that's where you can control it, mold it, keep it on track. And they become far, far, far more effective that way. When you have a highly trained AI, um, AI uh, hallucinations are minimized quite a bit. So the, the AI becomes much better. I was able to do a pretty good job with my AI because I just have years and years, well, decades of experience of structuring applications. So whether I'm structuring applications with an AI first approach with complex prompts and edge case mitigation, edge case mitigation built into the prompt, uh, or I'm building complex applications with 
express node in, I don't know, React front end or a Vue front end. Uh, these skills are 100% transferable. You gain these skills by learning your fundamentals and you start building projects. And there are certain design principles that you should pick up on. Refactoring will help you with that. There's a process. Refactoring is a process of cleaning up code. When you learn to refactor, you learn to organize your code in a more efficient way. When you learn to organize code in a more efficient way, you just learn to organize more efficiently in terms of being able to set up context, structure context, understand contextual hierarchies. This is all part of software development. That's what separates the great developers from the not so great developers. And that's what separates the great prompt engineers from the not so great prompt engineers. So there you go. If you want to become a highly valued software developer in 2025 and 2026 and so on, even in the AI age, the old rule holds true. Being able to think logically and structurally, to be able to organize uh, the architecture of your application, whether you're doing it in AI first or you're doing it with traditional uh, tool sets, it's, it's the key. It's the key. Throw in some great communication skills, a little bit of empathy so you can understand what people around you need and understand that your job is to make other people's lives a lot easier. You go in there, you're going to be a superstar. Hey, I'm Uncle Steph. I mentor people in the ways of software development. You can check out below for my interactive software training courses. I even have a mentoring program that you may want to subscribe to. Very powerful, very effective. If you had a hard time learning how to code or you've been looking for somebody who really understands the game very, very deeply, I've been writing software commercially for, well, since 95, 1995, and I've taken several products to market. I've done work with publicly traded companies developing their software uh, as either a junior and then as a lead architect as well. I understand the game very well. And even in my foundations courses, I teach you a lot of this stuff. So people come out of my foundation courses, 250, 300 hours of work. They come out with a more sophisticated understanding of software development than most people who come out of college after four years. So you can go do four years spend all that time and money, or you can do 250, 300 hours with me and uh, get it done and get better. <laughs>